If I was teaching you Premiere Pro, here are the five things that I think you must know just to create amazing videos. These are the ones I wish I had known right when I started. Here we go. The first one is learning how to crop. You might have a moment in a video where you need to have two things showing at once, or you need to crop out some part of the footage you have. Let me show you how it's done. Go to the Effects tab and type in Crop. Drag the effect onto your clip. Go to Effect Controls and adjust the settings to your liking. And that's your first video crop done and dusted. The second thing that is crucial to know is how to stabilize video. You might get some footage from a client or a friend that is quite shaky, but they're adamant that you use it. That's where Warp Stabilizer comes in. Go to the Effects tab and search for Warp Stabilizer. Drag the effect onto the clip you want to stabilize. Let the effect analyze your clip. Adjust the settings to your liking. Smooth motion and subspace warp usually work well, but try out what works best for your clip. Congratulations, you've now stabilized your first clip. The third must know is how to export video. You can edit to your heart's content and come up with amazing videos, but if you can't export them, then nobody will ever see your beautiful creations. First, set your in and out point by using I at the start of your video sequence and using O at the end of it. Go to File, Export, Media. In the export window that shows up, choose H.264 as your final video format. For preset, choose Custom, since we'll be changing the video settings below. Choose the file name and the location where you want to save it in. Make sure your video width and height match your timeline dimensions. Choose your frame rate according to what your source footage was filmed in. Have the aspect ratio set to square. Tick the setting Render at Maximum Depth. For performance, set it to hardware encoding if you have an NVIDIA or AMD GPU, otherwise choose software encoding. Please note that setting this to software increases your render times. Have the profile set to high, have the level set to 4.0, 4.1 or 4.2, 4.1 and 4.2 are recommended for higher resolutions. For bitrate settings, choose VBR2 Pass. Set the target bitrate between 10 and 20 for 1080p and between 40 and 60 for 4K. Set the maximum bitrate at double the target bitrate to allow for moments with more action or lots happening in your video. Tick the option that says use maximum render quality. And that's it, you're ready to export. Another basic but super crucial one is adding text to your video project. This will help your viewers know what the video is about or if you're doing a promotion for a company it will give them crucial information about what they're seeing and help you get your message across. In your timeline, find the place where you want to insert your text. Select the type tool. It looks like this capital T. Click anywhere in the video preview window and start typing your text. Premiere will automatically create a graphic clip for you. Go to the graphics workspace. With your text clip selected, go to edit. In the essential graphics panel, you can change lots of settings and parameters such as centering text, alignment, font type, font size. You can bold the text, italicize. You can even add a stroke, which is essentially a border or a shadow. Nice work adding your first text. Last but not least is masking a part of a video. Sometimes you may have something in your video clip that you don't want shown or you need to blur out a person's face or a license plate. So in this bit I'll show you how to add the Gaussian blur effect and masking it to hide the license plate in this shot. To start, select the clip you'll be masking. In effects, search for Gaussian blur and drop it on your clip. Raise the value of the blur as suited. Next, select the rectangle mask tool. Drag it over to the license plate and adjust the corners to fit. Hit the play icon to automatically track the mask forward. Premiere automatically creates keyframes to animate the mask path. Play through the clip to see how well the mask track did. Not bad. Scroll ahead to where the mask didn't track properly. Manually adjust the corners using your mouse to fully cover the plate where needed. And that's it. Your first mask done. And to finish this off, here is a bonus tip. You are now a videographer. You've learned some basics in Premiere. You're working on building a solid foundation, but the problem is you want eye-catching effects today. And you don't even know where to start when it comes to learning, much less doing things like this. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Dom, I'm a beginner. It's gonna take me months to learn how to do all of that. And you're right, it will take you months to learn all of those techniques, but it will take you minutes to use them because Premiere Pro lets you use templates, specifically motion graphic templates, otherwise known as Mogarts. 
Motion graphics templates are effects and graphic templates created in After Effects or Premiere Pro, which are then packaged into a file without .mogrt extension. Templates are basically a way to leverage the skill and hard work of other editors or VFX artists. Let me show you how they work. The templates live in the Essential Graphics panel, which you can find easily by going over to the Graphics workspace. Or in whatever workspace you're in, just go to Window and then Essential Graphics. Premiere Pro has some basic pre-made ones you can use, but we've got this awesome newly downloaded one that I really want to try. It's important to note that each separate title has its own mogart, so there might be a title pack that has multiple titles in it, and you have to import each one separately. I looked through to find the one that I like and want to use, which is Main Ultra Chaos Glitch Title 9. Go down to the bottom right, click this window with the little plus, and locate the file you downloaded, and hit open. Scrolling through to find your template is endless, so I usually just favorite the new templates so I can find them easier, but you can also search for them by name. Locate your newly imported template, click on it, and hold down your mouse, and then literally drag it anywhere in your project. Premiere Pro then loads the mogger. This usually takes a little bit longer on your first install. And that's it! Easy as pie! Depending on the creator and what options and controls they made available for you, you'll see different options here. And voila, you have taken someone else's skill and experience and applied it to your project to create an amazing effect. You can use this to make great videos for yourself or get paid to make videos for others. One thing you should know though is that templates aren't free. Well, the really, really good ones aren't free. So I recommend signing up for our channel sponsor, Envato Elements. Elements gives you unlimited access to amazing creative assets created by the best editors and VFX artists in the world. Simply download a template, upload it to Premiere, and customize it to fit your video. Just sign up below by clicking the link in the description and you'll get your first month for only $9. Well, that's it. I hope that helps you. And as Josh always says, Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.